Shanghai Disney is a Disney theme park located in Shanghai, China. And with it being home to many world-class attractions, there is no wonder it is so popular. However, today we are going to count down the top 10 rides at Shanghai Disney. Starting off at number 10, we have Woody's Roundup. And no matter whether you want to spin like you have never spun before, or you are just looking for a most routinist tootinist ride in the park, then this roundup is just for you. The only thing is, however, it is not your normal roundup, because as soon as you have boarded one of the many horses and carts, not only will you be able to freely rock from side to side, but you can also spin around on not one, not two, but three different plates causing both some, let's just say, pretty close encounters and even the bravest of cow folks to let out a little yee-haw. Who here loves Winnie the Pooh? Well, of course you do. And so you've got to take a ride on our number nine spot, the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh. As on this state-of-the-art dark ride, you'll be able to join everyone's favourite bear and friends as you see many of your bedtime stories come to life. For me though, what makes this ride so amazing is the fact that unlike many of the dark rides nowadays, where it is only full of screens, this ride implements many models, special effects, animatronics and lighting in addition to the screens, creating a pootastic experience that will never, ever be forgotten. For our number 8 spot on our top 10 list, things are starting to become a lot more competitive as we have Buzz Lightyear Planet Rescue where you, of course if you think you have what it takes to defeat the evil empire Zerg, can jump aboard your very own space cruiser to head to infinity and beyond. Yet it does not stop there, as whilst you are exploring this out of this world planet, full of robots, aliens and of course Buzz Lightyear himself, you'll be able to use your Astro Blaster provided to shoot the many targets, stop Empire Zerg and try to gain the highest score in your group. Get ready for takeoff as for our number 7 spot, we have Jetpacks. The ride has taken your classic Dumbo attraction to the future. Nevertheless, before we do begin to talk about that, with it being so common around the world, if you are visiting the park on a busy day, then we suggest riding the more unique attractions first. Yet if you do get a chance to ride, you will definitely not be disappointed with you being able to fly high in the sky on your very own jetpack or as low as you want through the use of the incredible lever, providing a great view across the park, as well as an experience that is definitely top 10 worthy. Are you heading to Shanghai Disney on a hot Shanghai day? Well, if the answer is yes, then you must take a ride on our number 6 spot, Roaring Rapids, because as you can probably guess by the name, you will get very, and I mean very wet, and you will not be wrong, with your nine person gondola not only racing around five minutes of non-stop choppy waves, but also two giant drops, one of which is in complete darkness, as well as many geezers being sure to get you soaked for the rest of your day. How cool is that? And so when also taking into account the theming and that rather unusual crocodile beast, this ride should 100% be on your bucket list. 
top five were were and coming in for this spot we have seven dwarfs mind train for a ride that will make you scream laugh and smile at the same time and here is how now of course it would not be an awesome coaster without many fun drops twists turns airtime hills and maybe even a small dark ride section. And this is no different. Yet what makes it so crazy is the fact that in addition to all of this and the unbelievable Snow White theming and songs throughout the ride, you will do all of the elements whilst your car freely rocks from side to side. Which is pretty awesome if you ask me. Have you ever wanted to fly across the world? Well, if so, then you must take a ride on our number four spot, soaring over the horizon. As despite it not sounding like a lot, within a nutshell, you're sitting in a mechanical chair that will move around whilst getting sprayed by special effects. Words literally cannot describe how amazing it is to take off through the clouds over mountains, past lots of world famous landmarks, into water and the list goes on and on and on. Therefore in my eyes, especially if you can get the middle of the middle, a trip to the park is nowhere near complete without a flight on soaring. Here we are at the top 3 rides at the park. And for this position, we have Rex's Racers, the most raw-tastic ride in Andy's backyard. Ding ding. Okay, that was a horrendous joke. However, this ride shit sure isn't. With as soon as you and the other 19 thrill seekers have boarded the RC Racer, and yes, you did hear me right there, guys the RC Racer car himself, you will be able to shoot back and forth, higher and higher, until you reach a whopping height of 90 feet in the air and a speed of 47 miles per hour. So yeah, this ride is plain down crazy, but if you can build up the courage to ride, it is an experience that you nor your stomach will ever forget. Between number 2 and 1, it was tough. However, after a lot, and I mean a lot of consideration, we've decided to put Pirates of the Caribbean Battle for the Shunken Treasure at the number 2 spot. And wow, if this ride does not make you fall in love with the films, then I honestly do not know what will. As from the moment you queue up, to heading around the undescribable ride, to getting off again through the use of the most advanced technology, theming and props I think I have ever seen in my lifetime, you will feel immersed in this pirate storyline. And so with the awesome lout too, there is no doubt in my mind that this is not only one of the best rides at the park, but on the entire planet. We have made it to the number one spot and in my opinion for the best ride at the park we have got no other than Tron Light Cycle Power Run. And where do I begin when talking about this ride? As if I was going to talk about every great part then we would literally be here all day. Yet to start from the beginning as soon as you see this futuristic masterpiece of a ride you will instantly want to jump aboard and you should definitely do just that as nothing beats being able to set off on your very own light cycle around many launches, twists, turns, drops and so, so much more at a speed of 60 miles per hour. Therefore I would feel wrong not putting it at the number one spot. Thank you all for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.